not good enough. Simply not good enough. Um, I still think the reaction of Parker out is a little bit ridiculous, um, considering where we are in the table. But I think I've been backing him a lot more than a lot of people. I think I've been quite outspoken about it, but we are probably in a false position. I think a lot of people have said that, and I'm coming round to the idea. Um, but to be Parker out at this point in the season where we are where we are in the table, it is still a little bit silly to me, but that's just myself personally. Um, but yeah, it, it, it feels strange where we are at this moment in the season because we're fourth in the league and we've not really got going. Um, we've really not started to play play properly. Obviously, you take the Luton game and the Cardiff game out of the equation and every other game has been a 1-0 or a 0-0 or I think Sheffield Wednesday were our highest scoring other than that where we've won 2-0. Um, yeah, it's 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 strange. It's difficult at the moment. Um, I think no one will argue that today wasn't good enough. Um, we simply just weren't at it. Um, we didn't really test their goalkeeper. I think Hatonji had a couple of moments in the first half where I thought this looks like the player that we've brought. Um, you know that this looks like the player that we think we thought we'd bought. Um, and I do feel sorry for him really because I think I've given him a lot of stick. I think a lot of people have given him a lot of stick, and. Those two chances in the first half, all right, the first one where he gets the ball past the defender and then hits it from like 10 yards outside the box. It's a stupid decision to take that shot. Um, But if that ends up in the back of the net, you know, we're all going mad of, oh, what a great goal that was. That was incredible. So, yeah, I do, I do feel like slightly I've given him unfair stick this season. Um. But he sort of faded out of the game a little bit. Um, but I don't think that was mainly his fault. I think mainly it was we weren't getting the ball up to him and getting him in the game enough. And I've I've wanted Gerard obviously, to be involved quite a lot this season. Um, again, I've been quite outspoken about that. But I think to bring him on at the point that he did, I did feel it was a little bit unfair on Hunt Andre. Um because obviously, like I said, he, he wasn't getting the service that he was getting very early on in the first half. And I think had he stayed on the pitch for, a, you know, an extra 10, 15 minutes, he may have created another couple of chances. Because when the subs did come on, I think it completely changed the dynamic of the game. Um, I think Sarmiento and Hannibal, I mean Hannibal when he came on, defensively and going forward I thought he was phenomenal um I know obviously this season he has again Hannibal's had a little bit of stick he's not quite lived up to the expectations um but I thought when he did come on I do think he played quite well um Sarmiento I feel like he came on and brought that little bit of energy that we were missing the little bit of trickery and I think He's made a case for maybe starting against West Brom on Thursday. Coley Oshaw, we say it every week, he's a young lad. He's clearly got talent, but he needs to either be playing on the left wing or to be put on the bench for a little bit. Um, I would like to see him dropped, not because I don't like him, but the lad's got pace. And I think if you bring him on, you know, with half an hour of the game left to go, when he can run at defenders who are tired, I think he can influence the game a little bit more there. But, yeah, it, it just wasn't good enough today. I mean, fair play to Millwall, I feel like, again. I feel like I say this every week. They came with a game plan, or more, they had a game plan that they stuck to and it's worked out really well for them. Um, But, yeah, fair, fair play to them. I mean, they just wanted it so much more than we did and that's... You know, considering where we are in the table and the results that have happened this weekend, you know, Sunderland uh, dropping points, you know, the the, res the results that have happened this weekend, it, it was a good chance for us to get ourselves, say get ourselves back in it, but, 
you know, get ourselves closer to to Sunderland at the top. Um, and obviously we've dropped down to fourth now, which isn't ideal, but, you know, we're still in it. We're, it's very close this season. There's no runaway, runaway team, but it does feel like it's three points dropped today. Um, you know, we... Millwall had their game plan where we've we've just sort of not wanted it and yeah it 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 just feels very strange um but like I say Millwall played really well today they were hungry they were aggressive um they were at it and I mean the header from their defender who's scored I think I can't get his name I think it's Cooper but I'm not certain um it it's a great header, and I mean, I felt really sorry for James Trafford when that went in because there were nothing he could do for it. And I mean, he made a great save in the first half, right at the end, at at the end of the first half. Um, you know, he had a couple of chances. I, his distribution wasn't great. Again, um, there's a moment where he's come out for the ball outside the box, and he's just sliced it, which is something that he has done over the last few games. He's come for the ball and just sliced it but yeah it it just I felt sorry for him because the goal was it was a great goal and there was nothing he could do but other than that I thought he did well as a goalkeeper like I say his distribution wasn't fantastic but I don't want to slay him because he I really felt for him with that goal and you know towards the end of the game he was getting the ball and when he was taking his goal kicks, he was getting the ball back on the pitch and getting it quick upfield quickly, and that's the sort of thing that I want to see. I was quite critical of him last year not being quick enough with the ball and getting it out, but I think that's something that he has been working on. And yeah, I, like I say, I don't want I don't want to be critical of him today because I do I did feel for Trafford, um, but yeah, it's just not good enough at the minute and. Like I say, it, it it feels weird saying that because of where we are in the league and we've had, I don't want to say we've had tough games because you look at this league and you look at it on paper and every game that we've played, we should be getting points from. Um, but obviously that's one of the reasons that we all love the championship is that anyone can beat anyone. Um, you know, and... It, I don't want to be one of these entitled clubs, one of these entitled fans where we lose to someone like Millwall who, like I say, with all respect, you look at it on paper, we should be beating. But that's not how football works and obviously that's not how this league works. And like I say, fair play to Millwall because I thought they played very well today. Um, and again, they had their plan and they've got the, they've got the three points out of it. But... Yeah, like I say, there's there's not much you can really say about it. It's just a bit disheartening where we are at this point. Um, I think we all sort of expected to be running away with with the league, obviously, the last few times we've been in this league. But then we're still better off than we were under company when we did run away with the league. Um, obviously, the time before we died, 23 games unbeaten, you know, like, in the second half of the season, it it's still early days. Um, we're still only in November. We've got a lot of games to come, to come up, and I feel like Thursday suits us more. I feel like games against teams like West Brom, Leeds, these are the games that will suit us more. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's disappointing. I thought today was a really good chance to get three points, or at least get something to. To pull us back closer to Sunderland at the top, but it is what it is. Um, I think obviously we've still got to still got to trust the process, and at some point it is going to click. But there has to be a change to the starting eleven on Thursday. I think obviously Fleming comes back in. I'd like to maybe see him in the ten with Hutanji up front. Um, you know, I don't. I don't really want to see him coming in back in as the nine. I would like to see. Him and Atonji up front. Um, I'd like to see Hannibal coming back in because I thought today, like I say, I thought he was absolutely fantastic when he came on. And I'd, I would like to see Sarmiento because I think he 
brings that bit of trickery that we're just missing. But yeah, it, it not good enough today. Um, I think there were a lot of naive decisions from certain players. Um, and I, honestly, I think we probably got lucky not to give away a penalty as well. But yeah, not good enough. Um, West Brom on Thursday, big chance for a, another three points. Um, and I honestly think we can do it. I, I honestly think that Thursday there will be a change in the starting 11 and I do think that Thursday we will get the three points. So don't want to be too disheartened. Don't want to be too down about it because it'll click together and it'll come together. Um, but yeah, up the clarets.